Yes. Well, do you have a favorite childhood superhero, Spider-Man, Black Panther, or Wonder Woman? Well, you have the chance to see many, many great uh, Crusaders on May 5th at the 2018 Casa Superhero Run and 5K Race. Ruth Ann Cutright, Executive Director of Chesterfield Casa, joins us with all the details on this awesome event. Ruth Ann, it is always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you so much nice for having to us today. See you. Tell us about this uh, superhero run. Uh, there are so many different colors. There are so many different superheroes, big and small. This has a true meaning behind it. This isn't just gathering of, for a lot of fun. It does, absolutely. Um, so the Superhero Run is to support our program, CASA, Court Appointed Special Advocates. Um, and we work with volunteers who advocate for abused and neglected children in the court system. Um, and so we started this event nine years ago, actually. Um, and the tagline for the event is, every child needs a hero, but abused children need superheroes. Right. So it's really a great way to shine light on our mission, but in a very positive light, and to really highlight our volunteers that are doing the amazing work on behalf of these children. You know, and Ruthann, what a fun way to get even young people involved in something like this to shine a light on a very serious topic. Absolutely, it really is a great event. Um, we have folks of all ages from babies and strollers um, <laughs> all the way through grandparents who come out. Um, the course is really flat and fast, so even for folks who you know are all different levels of running experience, it's a good experience for them. And the, the kids aren't just the only ones getting dressed up, right? You also brought in a couple of superheroes today as well, yes, right? Yes, we did, absolutely. <laughs> who is this that we're seeing? Um, so we have Casey and Colin Bunn with us today. Um, Casey actually served on our board of directors a good number of years ago. Um, their family has been out to the race all but one of the nine years that we've had it. So I'm um, very excited to have them this morning um, showing off their spirit for CASA. I think Flash and Spider-Man have had their espresso this morning. I love it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Ms. Ruthann, tell us how gratifying is this for you? Yeah, it's just amazing. Um, I've watched this event grow from the first year in yeah. 2010. Um, and so as we get more runners and more um, notoriety folks that come out, we have many families that actually have come all nine years to the event. So it's great for us to watch the children, um, but to really get that support in a nice way for us to get um, the word out about our mission and the amazing work that we're doing at CASA. And some of these kids, they take this race seriously, don't they? Absolutely, <laughs> yes. And so it's nice we actually um, have a kids run, which is um, somewhat competitive. We don't do timing for that, but we do award um, prizes for first, second, and third place. And then the 5K, and we do um, awards for all age groups throughout that. So Tell us, Ruth, then, the, the money that is raised for something like this and the awareness that is, uh, how does this help CASA? Yeah, well, it really is. You know, it's hard for us to get the word out lots of times because unless folks have had experience with our program, right. they're not necessarily going to know about our work. So this is a wonderful way to highlight a really um, positive, family-friendly environment while also kind of getting the word out about the work that we do. And how much has it grown of the last few years. Yeah, it's amazing. So um, we started out our first year around 400, 450 runners. Um, and this year we're hoping to surpass 650. 650. And we have some uh, new superheroes too. Black Panther's going to be there as well. Yes, this has been quite the year for the focus on superheroes. So we're hoping that energy really translates into our event. And Ruthann, when everybody does come together, tell us about the energy that is there that morning. I do. I think the event itself is just amazing. I talk to people, you can't really describe it unless you've been there. The Indeed. Just the, the culture and the atmosphere that we create. It's such a positive, feel-good um, event. Everybody's out there for the right reason, and, and it's very festive. We have a family fun festival, actually, um, with moon bounces and carnival games and roaming superheroes all around. So it really is a, a full morning um, that folks can come out with the entire family and have a good time. And also, Ruthann, it's a nice bonding moment for both mom, dad, and, and little ones, right? It is. We've had folks compliment us that it's one of the um, few races where really the entire family can yeah. get involved. So everyone can run, um, kids run, or the the 5k and then even grandparents or friends if they come out you know can enjoy the family fun piece of it so it's a it's a nice way to really focus on positive family interaction I love being there and you see all the little kids and they look up at some of these big superheroes and they are the real superheroes exactly. to them, aren't they? yes it's wonderful Ruth Ann, keep up the good work with Thank what you, you do so not just much. with the superhero run but also Casa as well we appreciate I it. appreciate the support Listen, absolutely we've got some information right here you can grab your mask and cape and join us for the 2018 Casa Superhero Run, Saturday, May 5th. If the kids run, it begins at 9.30, and the 5K starts at 10. It's a lot of fun. It's located right there at St. Joseph's Villa in um, Henrico County, and I do have the honor of emceeing this awesome, awesome event yet again. Sign up. For more information, just visit WTVR.com slash VTM. We're going to post the link a little bit later on today with all the details. We're going to see you out there again soon. Thank you all right, so Ruth much.